All right, good morning folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today is a beautiful Sunday morning here in Texas, and what I'm doing today is installing gutter guards on my roof. I'm sick and tired of leaves clogging up my gutters every season, either spring or fall. There are these trees by my house that are constantly just dropping leaves, shedding leaves. I'll show you guys what it looks like outside. So you see those trees right there are what I'm talking about. They're kind of on the right side of my house. There was a tree here that was dead that I had to take down when I first bought the house. And uh, otherwise, there's no real leave issue aside from what's going on up there. <clears throat> and frankly, I want to get those taken down as well, but they're kind of on the intersection of the easement for our properties between myself and the neighbor. And that's going to be a difficult conversation because those people are a little difficult sometimes and they're a little sloppy. So I'm not sure they'd agree to taking the trees down. But anyhow, in the meantime, if I'm gonna to have to keep those trees up and not want to deal with leaves in my gutters, I'm installing gutter guards. So I'm going to show you guys the materials that I've got and the tools I'm going to use today to install them, as well as cleaning out first the gutters themselves. There's definitely a ton of leaves and just buildup in the gutters. I believe they're probably original to the house. They're only on the front and the back. So fortunately, I don't have gutters on the sides. And so I'm going to get up on the roof, give you guys a walk through how I'm going to do it and get it done today, hopefully. And if there's no issues, give you guys a little review on how it is and then just post a little status update, show you guys if it's worked or not. So the tools I'm going to use for this job are fairly standard and everyone should probably have these in their garage. First thing is going to be a ladder. You need a way to actually get up to your roof and access it so you can take the leaves out and then put the gutter guards in. What I then got here is a leaf blower. This is just a little black and decker. It's powered by battery. There's no cord to it and uh, should do a pretty good job just getting the stuff off of the roof. So if there's anything, you know, on the rest of it, I don't need to go scraping with my hands. Uh, that being said, I do have this little scooper. I purchased this off of Amazon. I'll try and find links to all these things so I can post them in the description for you guys to find, but hopefully this will turn out to be pretty useful. Uh, I'm going to scoop kind of the leaves. Gosh, getting, getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here. Even though I have all this, all this uh, bug spray on, Texas mosquitoes don't care. So this little scooper, going to use it to scoop the leaves out of the gutters. I'm going to put it into trash bags. So that's going to be another thing. I'm going to get trash bags to fill the leaves with. And these are the actual gutter guards. So what it is is, is rolls of this kind of metal uh, wire material that's gonna cover it. And when I get up there, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it works, as well as these uh, little kind of cone type things that you put in the downspouts. So I'll show you guys, for example, like right here in the downspout, you don't want the leaves to get caught in there. Similarly right there. And so what I'll do is put them inside so the leaves can't really get in as much. You know, if, if a little bit gets in, that's fine because the water will push it out, uh, but that's that. Did also buy a power washer among some other home improvement things. But this power washer, what I'm going to do is attempt to flush out everything that's in the gutters right now, especially the downspouts, because I don't have a tool that's long enough to actually get them out. So hopefully that'll work and I'll show you guys the process. Also, this is what happens when you're away for two weeks and you get the first rain of the season here in Austin. Grass is absolutely unruly. You get it cut today. By the way, this is what the deck looks like. It's not too bad. It's held up great. Honestly, I, I really can't complain about it. Um, I mean, the really has kept its color and its shape all as well. No peeling, no nothing. Uh, definitely well worth it.
All right, so I'm running into a bit of an issue where my ladder does not exactly reach to the roof uh, in order for me to get up there safely. But I'm doing this for you guys. However, if you're doing this at home, highly recommend that you get a ladder that's long enough to actually get up all the way to the roof. All right, so we're here on the roof of the house. And you'll see that there's gutters there in the front, which are all clogged up because those damn trees right there. And then we've got nothing on the sides, gutters in the back, and those kind of line this area where I obviously have this nice tree in the back, as well as uh, you know, the situation that drops all the leaves into that area right there. So going to get those taken care of. I'm not going to do it from up here. I'm just showing you guys kind of what the layout is. So from when I'm down there, <clears throat> I'm going to be actually doing it from down there where put the ladder up, grab the scooper, get it out, and then put the layer on top for the liner that'll go on top of the gutters. So once again, this is fairly standard for most gutters, but you'll see that it's open like this. So this is clean. This is what it should look like. Well, not the gunk at the bottom there, but generally speaking, it should be open like that, uh, but there's no covering on it. And so what we're gonna do is unroll the gutter guard that's going to cover this area. So there's gonna be no leaves or at least a lot less than this, so it's not clogging up my gutters. So I'm having a realization while I'm standing here on my damn roof. As I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, I'm realizing that perhaps mosquitoes are being incubated by the water that's being trapped in the gutters. So if you guys have a mosquito problem, that could be part of it. Because mosquitoes love standing water. And uh, if you don't clean out your gutters, like I'm doing right now, you might have that problem, so. So what I'm gonna do is put in these downspouts. So these are the, kind of the drain plugs almost. Uh, basically they're the gutter guards for the downspouts. The one right here, it's not exactly gonna fit because I mean, it's like, I'll probably just cover it because this just dribbles down the water into the next gutter there. But for the rest of them, basically close it up the size that it is, put it in and then 
everything except pretty much pine needles um, will be stopped from getting in your gutters. So what I'm gonna do now is open this little roll of the gutter guard. And basically, as it looks, you're going to straighten it out kind of like this and then roll it along the gutter so that it covers the top of it so the leaves won't be able to penetrate through here. So when you're doing this, also just make sure that you have scissors so you can cut the gutter guard to fit your gutter. And then another thing would be make sure you wear gloves if you're working with this wire stuff. It's extremely sharp, so I'm just, it's already too late, so I'm not gonna put on gloves, but basically make sure that, take the proper safety precautions, eye pro, ear pro, all that good stuff. So when it's all said and done, this is just about how it should look. You want it to be concave like this so that the leaves kind of fall over it and that it's not catching the leaves if it was, uh, I guess it would be convex. It's early, I'm not sure. I think it's convex. And uh, this part you want to be on top. Basically you want to push the gutter guard underneath the roof shingles as well as underneath the little lip from your gutter most standard gutters will have this so it's pretty easy to install actually but the hard part is the prep work and i'm sweating so i'm not going to record everything from this for installing it because i have to keep moving the camera across the roof i have to keep moving the ladder but i'll show you guys when it's finished finished up the back portion of the gutter guards on the gutters at my house. What I'm going to do is finish up the front after I wrap up the video because this is turning out to be a lot more time consuming than I thought it would be. <clears throat> a couple big things I'd point out before I let you guys go. So when you get on the roof, let's say you have a ladder long enough to get on the roof, which I would highly recommend, the better way to do it instead of using the trash bag and scooping the leaves that are wet into it that I was doing. Uh, would be to actually just get it loose and try to scoop off as much as you can from the gutters and then pick up the leaves and put it in a trash bag afterwards. I found that it's pretty difficult to hold the bag while I'm scooping with the other hand and it makes it pretty unstable, especially if, if you're sitting on a ladder, it's just not safe. So <clears throat> highly recommend just getting it loose and then if you can from the roof or from the side, if you have a ladder, just blow it off with the leaf blower I think that's a much quicker way of doing it. And uh, honestly, it will save you a lot of time because scooping it up from the ground is no big deal. Uh, the main part is just getting it loose because if it's been sitting there for a while, I don't think this gutter has ever been cleaned since I bought the house. So it is what it is, taking it uh, in stride. And uh, you know, it's been, a, it's been a good home improvement project. I think it should definitely keep my gutters, you know, good for at least a few more years. Um, at least keep the leaves out of it so it's not too much weight weighing it down. Gutters aren't designed to be holding, you know, 30, 40 pounds of heavy leaves. I mean, I'm telling you the bags of leaves that I had, they were wet. I mean, it was only maybe half a section, but it was extremely heavy. And I highly recommend that you get it done uh, if you're experiencing clogged gutters like I am. So like I said, I'm probably gonna post uh, kind of a recap, kind of a how it's going video sometime in the near future. But for now, 
that kind of wraps up this one with the process I used to clear out my gutters and install my gutter guards. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I need to go hydrate and get some water in me. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.